Hi, my name is Bill Laboon. I'm the Director of Community and Education at Web3 Foundation here in Zug, Switzerland. And today I'm going to show you how to contribute to crowd loans on Kusama using Polkadot.js. So in order to use Polkadot.js, I'm going to assume that you already have an account, uh, probably generated via the Polkadot.js extension. Here you can see I have a Kusama account called Bill Crowd Loans. So we'll go to polkadot.js.org slash apps in your browser, and then make sure that we are on the Kusama network. So you can see here in the upper left-hand corner, it says that I'm on Polkadot, I want to be on Kusama. You can switch to any one of these uh, different nodes. It will take a few moments for a uh, connection to be made. And we can see uh, under accounts that my uh, crowd loans account with one KSM uh, is active. So we now go to network parachains. And here we can see some information uh, about the current uh, status of the network. So I can see that there are two parachains currently attached to the Kusama relay chain. One is StateMine and one is Karura. If I click on Parathreads tab, I can see that there are 12 other uh, potential parachains. So this is what Parathread means in this context. Every parachain starts life off as a Parathread. Um, and we can see that there is currently a, an auction going on for which parachain will be uh, the, the, the next to join the relay chain. Here we can see that the current winner of the auction is Moon River. And we would like to contribute uh, to a crowd loan. Uh, for perhaps Moon River or perhaps one of the other uh, potential, potential parachains here. So we can see quite a few uh, different projects have, uh, have active crowd loans, as well as one crowd loan that was completed for Karura, which is currently a parachain. So let's take a look at this page so we can understand what all is involved in a crowd loan. Remember that a crowd loan is loaning some KSM so that a project can bid for a parachain slot. And generally, the user who does this is going to get some sort of benefit in, in return, although that benefit is up to the individual project. However, you are guaranteed to get that KSM back. Any KSM that you use for a crowd loan will be returned to you. It is handled by the runtime. And so it is important to do this through the crowd loan interface and not just send uh, uh, KSM tokens to, another, to an account. Uh, if you do it through the crowd loan process, then you are, you, you, you are, are loaning to a project, but this project can do nothing with these tokens except bid in an auction to get a parachain slot, and it will uh, uh, be guaranteed to be returned uh, to you. So let's take a look at the top here. We can see that there are 12 different crowd loans going on uh, that have so far raised 755,412 KSM. Altogether, they have set a cap of 12.5 million KSM. That's what that M is for. Uh, however, since mo you, you, uh, a crowd loan does not have to reach that cap, a crowd loan will end uh, automatically if it reaches the cap, but generally you can set it as high as you want. Uh, and so we, we can see actually this is a, a bit of a ridiculous uh, uh, cap if you think about it, since if the cap was reached for all of these, that would be more than all the KSM that are currently in existence. So this is just at the top an overview of, of the crowd loans. Let's take a look at individual ones. And I want to remind you that I'm not endorsing any particular uh, parachain or project on uh, Kusama, but we're just going to use the first one as an example. 
So this first number is the parathread ID. So every parathread that joins the network has to have some identifier, some numeric identifier. Uh, so you'll notice that they start at uh, 2000 uh, for the uh, uh, parachain, you know, external parachains, non-common good, non-system parachains. We'll start at the number 2000. So we see here uh, parathread ID belongs to Bifrost and it is active, it's still going on. The other statuses it could be are ended or completed. So you can see uh, here that uh, this was completed. In fact, Karura was a winner uh, in the previous auction. Uh, these are still raising and still bidding. After 30 days and 14 hours, this is the, the ending block uh, from now, if this did not win, a slot, then the KSM that were contributed to it will be returned to the user uh, that, that contributed. And this is for lease periods 13 through 20. So it's looking to get the entire uh, maximum of eight lease periods. And in fact, all of these crowd loans are going for that maximum uh, eight periods, lease periods. You can see that this has raised uh, 20,459.5281 KSM and has set a max of 1 million KSM. So if this ever does reach 1 million KSM, then it will uh, bid, but no uh, additional contributions can be made. You cannot contribute over the maximum. If you would like more information on any of these projects, there's generally a homepage link, uh, which will link to those projects uh, homepage and give you more information about them. So we would like to contribute to a crowd loan. Again, just reminding you, this is not any sort of endorsement. I'm just uh, clicking contribute on the first item on the list. And here you can see I'm contributing from the account, the Bill Crowd Loans account. And uh, I will say, uh, well, you see by default, it's actually showing me uh, less than the minimum of what is allowed, which is 99.9999 uh, milli KSM. So I have uh, uh, slightly, uh, slightly less than that. And so there is a minimum that you can contribute to KS, uh, in KSM to a crowd loan. There is also a maximum uh, besides the amount of KSM that you have in your account. Uh, you cannot go above the cap. And so if I try to send in more KSM, then uh, that would make me go over the cap, then you can see that it won't let me do that. So there is both a minimum and a maximum, which you can see uh, right below uh, this. You can see that there is a minimum allowed is 99.9999 milli KSM, and the max, or remaining until cap, is 979.5 uh, uh, kilo KSM. So do keep an eye on the denominations uh, on, the, on the right here because uh, it can be a little bit uh, confusing. So I'm going to contribute uh, uh, slightly more uh, than the minimum here. And I'm going to click on Contribute. And we can see here, if you're uh, really interested, you can see what uh, extrinsic is being sent. It's, so it's crowd load contribute. Again, make sure you're not actually transferring any uh, KSM. So we are adding for the crowd loan for 2000, uh, Parathread ID 2001, uh, 100.0 milli KSM. And there's no uh, multi-sig or anything like that. So that's just null. So uh, we're sending from the account bill crowd loans and we'll sign and submit. I'll have to enter my password. All right. So that's now uh, uh, gone into, the, uh, into a block. You can see that the count actually increased from 281 to 282. This means that now 282 different accounts have uh, contributed to this crowd loan. You'll also notice that there's now a list of my contributions underneath it. So I can see here that the Bill Crowd Loans account uh, has contributed 0 0.1 uh, KSM. It's important to note that once you contribute to a crowd loan, you cannot uh, revoke 
or return your KSM, you can't change your mind. Uh, remember in blockchain things are permanent and this is especially permanent. Uh, so do make sure that it is what you want to do before you contribute. Uh, the only way at this point for me to get that 0 0.1 KSM back is if the uh, crowd loan uh, ends in 30 days unsuccessfully uh, or if they win a slot when the slot is returned I will have um, uh, I will get those KSM back it is possible however to contribute more so if I decide that besides my 0 0.1 KSM I would like to add another 0 0.115 uh, KSM Once again, I will enter my password. And now I have contributed a total of 0.25 KSM. So we, uh, how this works is that when the, the, the highest We'll, we'll be able to see the, the highest bidding uh, crowd loan in auctions, uh, as well as any accounts that are making manual um, uh, manual bids. So you may see other uh, bids here, but you'll only see the highest ranking uh, crowd loan bid on the auctions page. And we should know the, the auctions uh, for Kusama, uh, you, these are set by governance. Uh, currently, uh, the first five uh, are occurring, and they're happening approximately once per week, but this cadence may change in the future. So hopefully this has been an interesting introduction to crowd loans and has both answered your questions and whet your appetite uh, for uh, participating in crowd loans yourself.